lunchtime and the animals are hungry. They are hungry. I thought we should make some farm animals today out of cups. So let's gather our supplies and get started. All right, my little farm animals, let's gather our materials. You can do this craft with whatever materials you have. So I'm gonna show you a few different ways. So I'm gonna do some of the ways with marker, some with paper, maybe some with crayon, and if you have paint, paint works well too. The reason Miss Kugler is doing this craft with a bunch of different materials is because I don't know what kind of cup you have. Maybe your cup is paper like this. This one we could probably paint on really well. But one that's kind of shiny, like this, paint wouldn't really stick to it very well. And neither would paper or glue. So we have to kind of figure out what material you have. Ooh, styrofoam is a really good choice. But if you don't have a cup, I'm also gonna show you how to do the craft with a paper towel or toilet paper tube. You can also do the craft with just a piece of paper. So Miss Kugler is going to show you all the different ways we can do this craft. So if you have paint or marker or glue or papers, maybe some scissors and tape. And I'm gonna show you a few different ways that we are going to make some fun farm animals. The first animal we're gonna start with is a cow. Ooh, Miss Cougar loves cows. She thinks they're so cute and they give yummy, yummy milk. So, you can gather whatever materials you are gonna use for your cow but the colors are easy, black and white. Miss Cougar is doing this one first because I'm very excited to use my paint. I know that this cup, paint will work really well on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint some cow spots and cows. Their spots are all different. So you can just get really creative with it. So we paint our little cow spots. And they're not always circle. They're big blobs. So if you have paint, you can use some paint. But if you don't, you can use marker or crayon or maybe colored pencil. Or maybe you just wanted to cut out little black shapes and glue them onto your cup. There are lots of ways you can make your cow. So I'm just making one of little, little cow patterns. Mm -hmm. When Miss Cooper was little, she thought that chocolate milk came from brown cows. How silly is that? I thought that they made chocolate milk. Ooh, my cow is coming together. I'm gonna show you how you can do it with some marker too, just to show you how it works just as well. So you can draw your shape and you can color it in. So now, 
I think our cow needs some eyes. Our cow needs some eyes. So I am going to make a circle and I'm going to color almost all of it except to leave a little bit of white for the eye. Our cow knows. I took a piece of paper and just made a rectangle. And now I'm going to color the nostrils. So our cow can breathe. And then Miss Cooper tape or glue, whatever you have. I'm gonna put that right there. Mm. I think our cow maybe needs some ears. So, you can make ears out of paper, or if you have pipe cleaner, you can make little ears. But I'm going to make little black ears for my cow. Little black ears. Hmm, let's see. change your mind with your project. That's the best part. It's your project. You can get as creative as you want. So I'm going to take my pipe cleaners and I'm just going to fold them and tape them to the top of my So my cow can hear all the other farm animals. So, we can tape some cow ears. finished our cow, let's move on to our chick. We are going to make a baby chick. So for this one, I'm going to show my friends what happens if we use a cup. Oh, my color's not, not showing up too well on that one. I better try a marker. Let's see. Oh no. It's rubbing right off on my fingers. What should I do? Wait a minute, I know. We can take some paper. If you have construction paper, you would take that. Or white paper and then color it. And what I'm going to do if I am going to see how big my cup is to see how much paper I'm going to need. Okay, I'm gonna need about that much. So I'm gonna cut off the extra. And I'm just gonna tape that all around my cup. If you didn't have a cup, 
you could just tape your piece together and still make an animal. But Miss Kugler is going to do it out of a cup so her friends can see. So I'm gonna cut my paper. And I'm gonna get a glue stick. And we wanna really make sure we get the edges to wrap my paper right around my cup. It doesn't have to be perfect because as long as it covers, we could just cut off the extra. We could just cut off the extra. So we wanna rub, rub, rub to make sure it's really stuck. Off this little piece of extra and this little piece of extra on the bottom. Ooh, and my extra bit. Ooh, you know what we should do with our extra bit at the top? You know what we can do? We can fold it down. You could just fold it down and put a piece of tape because we are going to add something on top. Ooh, so we have our yellow paper now. I want to add a beak. Chicks have a beak. I'm just going to take some orange marker to make it super easy because I don't even have any orange paint. So I'm gonna make kind of a round upside down triangle. And I'm gonna color it in. our chick's beak. And I want you to put a little line. I'm going to add a little bit of detail. Just to make sure I like it. I'm going to add some pink cheeks. little baby chick. Some nice little round cheeks. Then we need our eyes. I'm going to make two eyes and I'm going to leave that little bit of space so I can see. And maybe. Some eyebrows. Mm -hmm. So now, hmm, what does a chick have? Ooh, we need to add our wings, right? Our chick has wings, so let me get some yellow pipe cleaner. If you have some yellow pipe cleaner, you can make a folded wing or maybe an arm wing, whatever you want. So I am going to 
take my first wing to my chick. It's trying to fly. And I'm going to tape my second wing to my chick on the other side. Now, we need to make our chick's hair. So I'm just gonna make some curvy, curvy, curvy lines with my pipe cleaner. But if you made that out of paper, that's okay too. It kind of looks like a three leaf clover. <laughs> if that was a thing. So, now I need to put that on top of my chick of my chick. It's really coming together now. On top. Right on top. And we need one last thing. Oops! My chick's coming undone. We can always add more tape. I'm gonna get some orange paper. And cut some little chick feet. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna cut little feet and I'm gonna take them underside. So if they're long, that's okay. See, I'm just folding it over and taping it right underneath. So I'm flipping my chick over, taking my two little feet and taping them. And now we have a little baby Check to join our cow. Now my friends, I have a pretty silly one for you. If you happen to have some cotton balls at home, the animal could be made with cotton balls. Hmm. A sheep! Yeah! Let's make a cute sheep. I'm gonna make my sheep out of my toilet paper roll. I'm just going to cut it so it's a little bit smaller. I even want it a little bit smaller than that. Do. I'm gonna save these ends. Ooh. I'm gonna save these ends as circles. So, if you have cotton balls and some glue, it works with both liquid glue and dry glue. You can glue your cotton balls all over your cardboard tube. And you wanna push, 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 so you know it is stuck on there. Glue, 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 a little bit at a time. 
and I'm going to fill it with cotton balls. Lots and lots of cotton balls. Make sure you go all the way around because our sheep have wool all the way around. All the way around. And I'm going to do a little bit right there. Perfect. So now, I have my sheep. Those two little circles we cut earlier, how about we color them black? Let's color them black. circles that we cut off the ends of our tube because I decided that I am going to tape them to the bottom so we're going to tape inside the tube and around our little back tube So inside the tube, and then around our little back tube. And now our sheep is sitting. You can take the other one and hold it up. Now we need a face for our sheep. I'm gonna show you on this white piece of paper. First, we're going to start with the bottom. Then we're going to make our two ears and connect back at the top. So if you have white paper, you can color that and cut that out. Miss Kugler is going to show you on black paper just so you can see it better. So I go around, and I go around, and I make an ear, and then I make another ear, and then I go back, up, and up. Pretty good. Not too bad. If you have googly eyes or something fun, I wish I had googly eyes because I'd put that on my sheet. But instead, I'm going to get some white paper that I have over there. And I am going to cut two circles. So I'm folding my paper in half and then just cutting one circle. That's a little trick to make it easier to make your shapes the same. And then let's glue them onto our sheep face. Because our sheep's need eyes. One eye. So 
circles. And then you can tape or glue your sheep right on to your cotton balls. And look, we now have a sheep. And our sheep gets to join the farm with our chick and our cow. Let's do one more. The last animal we're gonna make is a pig. I'm gonna do this one in all crayon, or mostly crayon. So you can see how crayon will also work for a pig. So we should make our pig pink, pink, pink. So with whatever you have, if that's crayon, marker, paint, construction paper, or if you have a pink cup, that'll work too. This pink is not showing up too well on the camera, but you can see it well in your life. So Miss Kugler is going to use some pink paper. So that way my friends can see better. So, my trick, we're gonna check first how much paper we need. Oh, we need almost the whole page. So you know what I'm gonna do? I am just going to cut off the extra. In my cup. The edges are important. All right. So let's glue it back to our cup. So we're just gonna wrap it around. Remember, if you have a little bit of extra and it folds over, that's okay. You can always cut it off. Miss Cooper's gonna tape down the end so it stays nice and safe. And now I'm gonna cut off the extra. that check where you just fold over the extra. That way the top of your cup is pink too. So now I have my pink cup. I have my pink cup. Hmm. I need a, a pig nose of course. So I'm gonna make a big circle. A big circle. And I'm gonna color it in. darker pink, I think I'll use this crayon, and I'm gonna make, oh, that one's not showing up too well, so I think I'll use a black. That'll work too. We can make two little circles inside that big pink circle. We have two little circles. For these eyes, I'm just going to draw little black circles. Mm 
and then so cute. Eyelashes. I mean eyelids. I mean eyebrows. Oops, ooh, I forgot the part of the face. Ooh. I need my eyebrows too big, so I need to make my eyes bigger so they look cuter. Pig is so cute and so happy. Rosy, rosy cheeks. Our pig is blushing. Now, if you have paper. is going to use. I am going to make some round piggy ears because pig ears are kind of round. The other animals we were doing had um, pointy ears, but these ears will be more round. So more round shape. I'm just going to tape it right on top, hanging off a little bit. And another round ear. And if you twist the pipe cleaner, then it will stay. And I'm going to tape that one too. Now we get to add a very, very silly fun part that makes our pig extra, extra special. What part of the pig is curly? The tail! So you can take a pipe cleaner and just wrap it around your finger. And then when you gently pull it off, It's curly. So I'll show you again. I took my finger and I just wrapped it around and around and around and around. And then I just gently, gently, gently took it off. And then I just stretched it to how I wanted it. Ooh, that one turned out even better. So all you need to do is take your pipe cleaner or glue it to your pig. And our pig's tail's in the back, but I'm going to put it off to the side a little bit, so that way you can see it when you're looking right at our pig. So we have our ears, our tail, and our nose. And look at our beautiful pig.